Hello, this is Geotechland and today I'll be showing you guys why you guys should be using DuckDuckGo. So DuckDuckGo is a search engine that it doesn't track you. And that is obviously in comparison to Google which tracks you uh, across multiple sites. So like let's say for example you're logged into YouTube obviously depending on what you're searching and watching it's tracking you and if you try using google search and google maps it'll kind of know what you're searching in on the map what you're searching on the search engine so that is um definitely not a good thing for many reasons that i probably wouldn't get to here in this video so let's try making a search here i'll be searching for let's say shoes for example and so the difference between DuckDuckGo is that when you type in shoes, for example, it only uses what you typed in to show you ads. Uh, so it's not really tracking you, uh, your behavior on other sites. So that's kind of, um, it's pretty straightforward. It, I mean, it, it's, it's very simple, but yet it, the repercussions of not tracking you are huge, right? And so let me get to the other, uh, the other reason why I think DuckDuckGo is uh, the best search engine right now. So if I go here, something very useful is you can change the theme. So if you click here, you can change it to this theme, click here. This one looks a lot like Google. Um, I think they, they probably did that on purpose. But my favorite theme is this dark theme. This dark theme is very nice because like, it's like that slightly gray background, which I think it's like the best dark uh, color or dark theme color. I wish the like these links were a little bit more contrasted, but there is another theme or there are more themes you can use here actually. Um, so if I use this one, this one's not too bad either. Just let me go back. And lo and behold, look at that. Say I type in shoes again. It's a little bit more vivid looking. Um, personally, I don't like the green though, so I usually just stick with the other one. So I'm gonna switch the theme back here. So that's a big, uh, it's a huge advantage. Uh, surprisingly, Google doesn't really have any theme, and if they do, it's not built in just like this here. Um, The other um, good thing that I kind of just started using is the filter here. So you can search, uh, filter this by region, which may come in handy if you know, if you, you want to, let's say type in shoes, for example, and you don't want to see shoes like in Europe or something. Um, I can imagine that being very useful. And again, um, well, I guess Google tries to filter it by location, but it's kind of tracking you, right? Here you just tell it like, hey, you know, I want shoes. Obviously, if I if I want shoes in a specific region, then I'll just type it in. Um, so that's always a good thing. This safe search, um, personally, I don't like that it's strict automatically, um, but at least it gives you the option to easily change it. So I just type it in here. So that way it won't block anything here. The time, I, I've just started kind of making use of this. Uh, it can come in handy when you're t searching for like sports or maybe more relevant news. So you can kind of mess around with it and tweak it to your liking. I think it's very useful. The other reason too is that kind of going along the lines that it is very feature rich. Let's say if I wanted to sport, so let's say I typed in football scores. So it'll give you the recent news, very similar to to Google, which is a good thing because I always thought this was kind of useful sometimes. Uh, so it has that too, but let me try something more specific. Say like a Viking game or something. Yeah, interestingly enough, it's not showing the score. So interestingly enough, it finally did show it. Which is kind of funny so 
it's probably still a work in progress but it finally did just show normally i would just type in like nfl scores and it would show you a list of scores this actually looks a lot better in mobile but this is something google has um, as well and so i'm glad that DuckDuckDo is kind of uh, adopting it as well it's kind of nice to to search this up and show you the scores but they're they're kind of moving along this way so let's say you wanted to type in los angeles weather see this will also show you the weather um it does show you the wind speed here um, i don't think it shows you that in mobile though i have to double check again but um it is pretty much the same um uh, the same thing Google does, you know, it shows you the wind, humidity. Um, I do personally still like Google's because it shows you like the like the sun. It's a little bit nicer, uh, nicer looking. So they can definitely improve on that. But it's not really a big deal. So my only criticism of the search engine is that one, it is a private uh, company, um, which again, it's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's always keep in mind that Ultimately, they're incentivists to to make money, and it is and because it is ads based. Um, even though it's like, hey, you know, we're only serving you ads without tracking you. It's a, it's definitely a lot better than Google, but it still adds. Um, I always prefer community funded uh, nonprofits, yeah, because then I can trust that you know they won't be influenced by ads. One one major thing that it's important is the news. Um, that may sometimes come into play. Let's say sometimes I would type in, uh, I'm just gonna type in like Bernie Sanders or something. So it's how they filter the news. Um, do they? That's kind of what I'm questioning because at, at one point I would see a lot of like Yahoo articles, maybe with like uh, sports, especially. I think maybe they have some partnership with Yahoo. Or with a specific news so they'll show you those uh first so that's why um i always prefer community-based nonprofits because then it could be a very neutral uh news section so that, that is important um, so it's always just good to kind of uh, be vigilant i would say but overall DuckDuckGo, i think is very good privacy oriented uh, search engine Lots of features, lots of theming, lots of filters, which is always very important. But the uh, the only thing to be cautious about is they are a private company. This is powered by ads still, even if it's not tracking us. And that can always lead to, to bad things. So, But overall, you guys should use it. And if you like this video and found it helpful, please like, share, subscribe. Now I'll see you guys next time.